Hi again. Uh, now, this time we're going to show you how to create an invoice in Trades Angel. You can either click on this tab here or you can go into your invoices here. Either way, it does not matter. We'll go into Create Invoice, which simply brings up the form straight away. If you click on Invoices, it will simply just bring you into that page. Um, okay, so it's a fairly standard invoice form. Um, these are all your details and however you lay your quote out with items and prices, that's here's where you'll do it. There's plenty of fields, you can just scroll down if you need all, the, all that room. If it relates to a purchase order, this is where you would put it here. Date, invoice numbers, all um, automatically done for you. Um, so simply fill that out and save it. Once it's saved, this is where it will come, into your invoice list. Um, when you've got quite a few invoices in here, you can search by clicking that tab there. You can search by date range, invoice number, customer name, or the dollar amount, largest, small, smallest, largest. Okay, you can tuck that away. Um, now, if you would like to make payments towards an invoice, you simply click on the dollar symbol. It will bring up the form will automatically show the amount that's still outstanding. Okay, so you can leave that in there if that's how much they've paid, um, or you can change the figure, uh, payment type, how they made the payment. So you save that, and it'll close down, back to invoices. Okay, it'll automatically, if they've only made a payment, it will automatically recalculate due amount, so allowing. Um, it will also give you an automatic days since invoiced, okay, depends on your um, terms and conditions on payments and when they're due for you, um, this will do it automatically for you. Now, when you, in your company settings, when you went through there and you put in your invoice and quote follow-ups, when you create an invoice, this is where you initiate it, okay, if you would like to send those automatic um, email reminders relating to invoices, simply click that there and it initiates it straight away. Um, if you want to stop it, like I've got here, you just click stop for like mails. Simple as that. Um, if you don't want to use that function whatsoever, you can just turn it off in your settings in the company info where you were before. Um, you can edit invoices if the uh, if the customer is, is um, you know you can cross extras all the time. You can come in here and edit your invoice. Um, just add the item. It will recalculate everything for you. <coughs> now, once you um, create your invoice, you can email it to the email address that's on the invoice or the email address that's on the customer file, which I will get to in a minute. Um, once you created your invoice, you can have a look at it before you email it by clicking this PDF icon here. It'll bring that up for you, just so you can run over it and double check it and have a look, make sure everything's okay. Um, and then simply, yeah, that's fine. Close that down, and then you can mail it. That's just um, when you click that button. Okay, it's been sent. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Um, now, when you create an invoice or a quote, it will save the customer's details automatically for you into customers. So we'll click on customers. So for your builders and regular clients, um, this is a save you filling out that form all together again. You can simply just click on that invoice icon there. Already puts the customer's details in there for you. Um, you'll just have to fill out the amounts. Um, pretty simple, and then save it, send it as just shown a second ago. And um, as far as invoices goes, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks for listening.